This show is sponsored by PrintByMagic.com. We print directly to your bicycle playing card. Hello and welcome to the Magic World Review Show. I'm James Anthony and today we're going to be reviewing two products. Today we're going to be reviewing Bill to Marker, Nick Einhorn and Antonio Romero's uh, Bill to Marker, Vanishing Ink and also of course Shin Lim's playing cards. Uh, very excited by these, we've been selling loads of them so uh, We'll bring this uh, bad boy in towards the end of the review show. Of course, we'll be announcing last week's winner as well and giving away a random deck of cards that's on the shelf behind me. I've not even thought what the competition's going to be, as per usual, but hey, we're going to wing it well here at Magic World. Okay, let's get started with Build to Marker by Nick Einhorn. This retails at £50. Uh, let's cut to the trailer of this product right now. No way. No! Oh. <laughs> it is only good if it's got your initials or your name on it. Is that your name? Yes. It is. That's good. It is. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Nick Einhorn. Imagine taking a signed, borrowed banknote and loading it into a pen in under a second. That's how fast it is. Guys, I'm going to show you something amazing. Does anyone have a £50 note I could borrow? <laughs> that, that would have been amazing, right? Uh, what have you got? £10 note? £20 note? What's the biggest note you've got on you right now? Would you do me a favour? Would you write your initials on that €50? Euros so when we see it again, we know it belongs to you. I have checked with the Bank of England. I did ask them, is it legal for me to ask people to write on bank notes? They said it is legal for me to ask. It's just illegal for them to actually do it. Watch that €50. Euros. I'm going to fold it once and fold it twice. It'll get smaller, but it will never leave your sight. It does start to look like something else entirely. I have made your initials disappear. Look at that. Whoa. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. Yeah, you're not so happy, are you? No. I'm not. I should have told you your investment can go down as well as up. I should have mentioned that. I'll do it again. Watch the five pound note. Little fold, little fold, a little squeeze, and it turns back into your 50 euros. There you go. Bad. Thank you. Uh, I'll tell you what, look, if I fold it up with your initials on the inside, on the inside like this, nice and small, uh, can you pass me the pen that I gave you just a few seconds ago, or did I? I've got it here. Look, when I tap on the back of my hand, your note completely disappears. <laughs> I'll do it again. Do you have another 50 euros I can borrow? <laughs> That's all right. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll give you a little piece of paper. Mm. Would you write down your name and your postcode on the piece of paper? That way, if I find it, I'll send it to you. I'll show you something amazing. Take the pen, okay. uh, pull off the lid. Anything inside? No. Would have been good, right? Yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> have a look at this. No way. No! no. <laughs> this is only good if it's got your initials or your name on it. Is that your name? Oh. It is. That's good. It is. Thank you very much. As it's, uh, it's drying out, put the lid back on. I think I know what's happened. I think there might be a blockage inside the pen that wasn't there a few moments ago. Let's have a look. This is only good if it's got your initials on or your name. Is that your name? Yes. Then that's good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Imagine being able to take a folded banknote and being able to load it into a pen that quickly. That's what I've just done. It's now in there, it's now sealed, and the only way it can be removed is to untwist the pen and find it inside. This is a precision-made gimmick, made in the UK, and because I oversaw the production of it, I was able to include a very special feature which enables this to be reset in front of the spectators. The Bill to Marker is one of the strongest pieces of magic that I perform. I've performed it for the last eight years, consistently getting great reactions. You're about to learn my routine and my handling for Antonio Romero's Bill to Marker. And we're back. Yes, that is the Bill to Marker by Nick Einhorn, Nicholas Einhorn, and Antonio Romero. And um, first thoughts are, wow. Absolutely incredible. 
Um, I have to say right away that this product is out of stock on our website. It's out of stock from our wholesalers. Um, so in many ways, people said, well, why are you doing this show? Uh, but at the end of the day, I wanted to tell people what I thought of this product. If you want to get the product, you will be able to pre-order it. Uh, we'll get it in when all the other magic shops get it in really quickly. Um, and I'm waiting for the exact ETA on that. I'm hoping a week or a week or two at the max. But um, either way, build a marker. Um, I would certainly get your orders in for one of these. If this is something that you think you'll use, get your orders in fast because uh, obviously they cannot manufacture it quick enough um, because everywhere sold out. But in terms of quality, whoa, it is great. Uh, it is £50, so it's not on the lower scale of the price range, but in my opinion, it's worth every penny of that. Um, I was always looking for something more modern than the old build tube to perform and um, I think compared to the past ones this one really has for a marker pen and a build to a marker uh, it's just exceeded all of my expectations without question I mean literally blew them out out into the sea um, it comes with two pens and it comes with all the instructions inside if I gave a flash of those in any way, then I will edit that out. But uh, yes, here we go. Uh, we've got the pens inside, of course, the box, the instructions printed on the top here, and two pens, which is great. So you get one gimmick pen and uh, one regular pen. Of course, they look absolutely identical in every way, um, but anytime you want, you can make their sign bill appear inside this marker. So you literally take the sign bill into your hand, Pull your marker out and just tap and it's gone. It is that quick. Now, as for loading and doing the dirty work, it is super, super quick. Far quicker than I could imagine. It literally just works. It's not made for playing cards. It's not made for anything else other than a bill. Simple as that. Uh, but I can assure you that the bill goes in, comes out magically super quick. Um, it's literally, it's been thought out so well, that's all I can really say about it. It is brilliant. And of course you have a regular marker which you could switch back in should you wish. Um, but why would you when you can look at the, the manufacturing and the, the quality of it? To me, no one is ever going to see anything here. That is just a marker pen to any spectator. Um, it's absolutely perfect. Um, so there we go. Yeah, perfect for the job. Uh, and it works with any anything, I guess, that is small that will go roll really, really thin. So it could work with a lottery ticket. It could work with anything that can roll like a cigarette sort of, sort of thing. Uh, anything like that could probably be produced from this. Uh, but you just have to be careful. Make sure that as long as it doesn't open up like a playing card, then you'll get away with it. Even if it was a corner of a playing card rolled up tight, there's probably quite a few possibilities here with it. But it definitely works best with the bill. Now, in terms of routines, you get Nick Einhorn teaching you quite a few routines on this product. He teaches you a double change, which is a, a natural money a banknote change, um, which is fairly standard. But then at the end, you're changing their £20, their sign one into a £10, so you lower it. So it, the whole routine has uh, it makes sense from start to finish. Then you change it back to their note. Then you roll it up, put it in your hand, and it's now inside the marker, like lightning, just like that, just like magic. Wow, it is magic. When I saw this, I thought, wow, to a spectator, that just looks like real magic. So that is why I think this is not just a worker, this is a mega worker. Nick Einhorn is a worker himself, so uh, this is a product that if you are a professional magician, uh, you should definitely not be without, in my opinion. It is amazing. As long as you can do the build chain, change, that's all you need to be able to do this. Um, so, yeah. As for clothing that you wear, it really doesn't matter. You can be wearing suits, you can be wearing waistcoats. He goes through many different variations of how to deal with everything, um, how to deal with the audience, what to do. Uh, it's angle proof, of course, completely angle proof. So this is the kind of magic that I love. Something where you can focus purely on the presentation and uh, the rest of it just handles itself beautifully. So there we go. That is Nick Einhorn's Bill 2 Marker. It retails at £50. Uh, get pre-ordering down below. If you can find a magic shop that has one in stock, that's, that's great. I'd, Sure, a couple have here and there, but most places are out of stock. <clears throat> so if you pre-order it, my throat is going, if you pre-order it, we will make sure that you get it as soon as they come back in. So there we go, Bill to Marker, fantastic job. And that is 
pardon me, on the workers wall right at the very top, right at the super top uh, mega worker that is now going to be on the workers wall. Boom! I got so excited with the Nick Einhorn build to marker, I didn't even give it a rating out of 10. So here is the rating out of 10. Quite simply, a massive, nothing's a 10, 9.5. 9.5 out of 10 for Nicholas Einhorn's build to marker. Boom! Let's move on to Shin Lim's playing cards. Ba ba ba! Okay. Um, at first, I'm not one for all these fancy cards. Not crazily. However, over the years, I've been warming up to the idea of these uh, these sort of cards. And um, <clears throat> I must say now that these just look really, really good. They're produced by Shin Lim. They are uh, designed by Nick Vlau, produced by Shin Lim. Hello. And made, in, made by the Taiwan Expert Playing Card Company, which more and more playing cards are moving away uh, and using other companies other than just USBCC nowadays. Um, so, what I love about this is just the, the red, the embossed effect on the box. I really like that. I'm definitely much a red and black person when I go out and do performing. Uh, I like to wear the red, red, either a red tie or a red jacket. Okay, yeah, I do have a red jacket. But that's more for stage. Um, let's open these up and let's have a look at what they're like. And we'll do this. Let's open them up and have a look at what it looks like on the table. And these are the Shin Lim playing cards. Here we go. Uh, let's turn the TV so that I can actually see them. Ah. And here we go, the Shin Lim playing cards. I have a trusty light here just to show it them in a cool fashion. Look at that beautiful box. It kind of changes color, it's amazing. Uh, sort of like changes more from red, but yeah, beautiful. There we go, let's turn this and open them up. So let's have a look at the backs. Now, I love the backs, I love the border, I love, uh, I just love how neat and tidy they look, how they look um, executive, I think is the word to say. They look fantastic in that respect. Um, they handle, oh wow, amazing. But what I really love about them more than anything is the feel of the edges. The edges stop flashing light, that's because the batteries are running out of it. But the edges are like super sharp, which means oh, they feel... I wouldn't say better than USPCCs, but they certainly feel really, really super slick, like silky smooth, silky smooth.com. Um, so that also, let's feel that. Yep, they just feel really good. I know that I would love to perform with these. Uh, let's have a look at some of the other cars before the light starts flashing again. We have a, oh, there we go, the Joker, of course, uh, Shin Lim. I really like that. We have the Shin Lim Ace of Spades. And then what I really like is the fact that the cards are just normal playing cards after that, so you can do regular tricks with them. Slight colour changes on the jack of jacks and the court cards, which I like. Classy. Then regular ace of diamonds, regular cards, regular again. Um, it just works. It just looks nice. It looks classy. And of course, there we go. The beautiful box. And the box is phenomenal. But in terms of feel, I'd say for sure... These Shin Lim cards are impressing me for sure. Uh, I would say that these cards are going to get from me a review out of 10. And that review is going to be, wait for it, it's going to be 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 for Shin Lim playing cards because they're not too expensive. They are beautiful in feel. I know I'm going to actually take these away and have a mess around with them. And they feel nicer than almost... A lot of the cards that I have tried lately, they feel good for springing. Uh, so that's definitely well done to the expert playing card company in Taiwan. They've done a fantastic job of this. Uh, I know that I would love to be performing with this deck of cards. Not too much going on in the design either, so it's just nice. I'd say, get yourself a deck of keys. These are well worth every penny. Boom. Wow. Mwah. Love them. Love them. Okay, so there we go. Um, that is the end of the review show. However, before I disappear completely, I said I'm going to give away something again this, year, this week. Every week I'm giving something away. It's crazy. So, here's, here's the deal. Today, we're going to be giving away, I've just decided, a cipher deck. And, and, we're going to be giving away an experiment. 
Why so many products being given away at once? I don't know, I'm just going crazy. A cipher deck and an experiment. Why? Mainly because these two products were launched in Murphy's last week. So any magic shop can now get hold of the cipher deck, can now get hold of the experiment uh, worldwide. Now this is a fantastic product. It's got Mark Elsden's routines on it, a PDF document teaching eight amazing routines. I think about a 30, 35 page booklet. Um, also on top of that, it comes with a hundred minutes of video footage of myself and Aaron and teaching you how to do amazing tricks with this, including three bonus routines. And they are true workers. So, in fact, hell of it. We're just gonna show you a very quick trailer of this product right now. <laughs> Throws down, okay, so go to the 166 and the fifth throw down. Yep. No way you can do that. <laughs> Open it up. It's ripped off! <laughs> Show it to the camera. He's ripped it off. I'm out, I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> Okay, we're back. That's the cipher deck. It is a true worker. It just works and it's so much easier to show you a video than me try to explain what it is. So we're going to get two lucky winners this week. Winner number one is going to get this. Winner number two is going to get this. You're going to be selected at random from the list of comments down below. All you need to do is to go onto my Facebook page. You find the video for this product, the cipher deck. Um, just this one, forget this one, but at the moment, find the video for this. It's going to be the top post. It's pinned to the top. So it's facebook.com forward slash magic world UK. Then simply click share. Share it with somebody. Share it with a group. Share it with somebody you know. Uh, somebody who think, who likes mathematical tricks and thinks, oh, this could be a good one for them. It's a marked number deck like no other. It just works so well. And it's just so innocent. Look at that. It just looks like an old Piatnik number deck. So yeah, it's brilliant. Got download instructions on the inside here. And that is Cypher Deck. Um, the people who have shared it, just leave a comment down below saying how much you like the trailer, how much you like the idea of this product. And um, the idea, if you have any routines or suggestions, please let us know as well. But otherwise, uh, I will pick a winner at random from those comments and boom, the products will be uh, selected and then sent out to the winners. So there we go. And the winner for last week's show will appear in the show more section down below. Of course, we have the experiment by Vinny Segu, which is a wonderful ESP effect. Now, this was released only the other day. It's almost sold out at Murphy's again. Um, however, some people say, well, oh, okay, you're, you're overthinking or it's a step backwards. Uh, yes, I heard that on the cafe, the Magic Cafe. However, um, the people who've actually performed this trick say, instead of being a step backwards, think of it from the spectator's point of view. The spectators find this super strong. It works. It is something you carry around and everything can be examined at the end. It is so strong, works every time, and even I carry it around in my walk around um, on a general night out. So that tells you how strong this product actually is. It's simple, it's direct, and it works. And that's the most important thing. Rather than confusing a spectator, let's keep it simple. There's nothing wrong with taking cards behind your back, making it playful, having a laugh with them. It's the end result that matters. And that is the experiment. So the second place is gonna get that. Leave your comments down below and the winners will be selected on next week's show. So thank you very much for watching again. It's been an absolute pleasure. I will see you next week. And now it's time to go back to my cold cup of tea over here. So uh, it's been a pleasure and see you then. Bye bye. Ciao for now.
Where's the, where's the products to review, man? Where's the products to review? Thank you. Boom! 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 <sighs> Couldn't ever do this without a cup of tea at the beginning of the day. Ever. Wow. Mm. Well, my favourite mug needs washing. <laughs>